Thank you so much, Ewan. Time now to turn our attention back to sport and basketball. The BNL is South Africa's premier basketball league. It sees 11 regional teams battling it out on the court for the title of South Africa's best. And the Western Cape Mountaineers player Vincent Ntunja is in studio to give us his views on how his team are going and, of course, just to open up a window into this incredible sport and a league that is gaining so much momentum. Vincent, welcome to the show, my Thank man. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, oh, dude, it's, I'm so proud that you have joined us this morning. I'm so proud that basketball is finally getting the platform that it needs here in South Africa. Yeah. Do you feel the same? Is there enough momentum? Is it a getting enough attention in the league? Well, um, it's, you know, uh, I always make this uh, comparison, you know, uh, when you coach kids, you want them to emulate something, you know, yeah. because there's uh, soccer, there's rugby and cricket competing against the sport. Now that we have a Premier League, it's easy now to tell little kids to say, one day you're going to be part of that uh, basketball national league. So it gives us uh, uh, some sort of uh, thing to hold on as well, just when you coach kids or even uh, us participating in, in the basketball game. We know as a, as a sport, it's an incredible developmental tool. We see how it gets used in the NBA to achieve yeah. unbelievable results. But I like the fact, as you pointed out, that we've got local heroes now and we've got yeah. teams that are, are now creating these incredible brands around you. Exactly. Of course, you guys have had a bit of a, a tough season so far. You've been winning, but you're currently sitting sixth on the log. How are the Mountaineers faring at the moment? Um, well, uh, we've played uh, three games so far and uh, won all three, which the last one was against uh, our biggest rivals. Uh, they showed now a clip against the Soweto Panthers. And uh, it was a good feeling winning that one because uh, for us to make the top four and even move further than we did last uh, season was uh, we had to beat we beat them, you know. So uh, this coming weekend we also got a tough uh, opponent, so playing Limpompo and also uh, the defending champions uh, Egoli Magic. So it's going to be tough. We expect it to be tough, but uh, because we we try to uh, give it our all at training, we got a great uh, coaching staff, we got great technical team supporting us, and even uh, people from the Western Cape in general. They, always sending messages of support, which uh, gives us courage as well when you go to, and travel to Joburg to play those games. Well, we've got an incredible structure right from the grassroots level all the way up. Western Province basketball has been good and yeah, it's been good yeah. for many, many years, yeah. but completely unprofessionally, completely outside of this kind of league. Yes. Are we doing enough to back our young players? Are you seeing enough of a pathway to starting the game at school, to making it onto a level nationally here in South Africa and maybe being coached for an NBA or one of the big European leagues? Well, speaking of which, uh, this past uh, weekend, we went to Guguletu Sports Complex, where as a mountaineers, we aim to give uh, motivational words to kids, the junior games. You see a lot of kids, diversity, white, blacks, Chinese, you name them, just participating in the sport, which uh, is something that made us as well to say, why not uh, as a, a premier a, a club to just go and say, guys, you have an opportunity now to just play as a youth, but one day you have a, a, a space where you can go and grow and be uh, and play in the, participate in the BNL. So I'll assume and say that uh, with assurity that basketball in the grassroots level is still taking place and uh, it's nice to see junior uh, games taking place as well. I um, absolutely love it and thank you so much for the efforts that you and your team are putting in. One last question, very important one. LeBron or Jordan? LeBron, uh, Jordan. Fortunately, I had the chance in 1998 to meet Michael Jordan when I went oh, to his camp. Word. So, it's, <laughs> so it's, it's, there's no comparison. I'm the old generation, so definitely a Jordan. Oh, nothing wrong with that, Vincent. Thank you so much for joining us. And please Thanks, send our God. best to the team. And good luck this season. You guys have been off to a flying start. I know a mountain still to climb, but we're behind you all the way, my Thank brother. Thank you very much. Means oh, awesome stuff. Or well, maybe you have a basketball a youth team in particular and you'd like to connect with the Mountaineers and hopefully connect to the next phase of your game. Please Please connect with us on Facebook. Let us know. We want to spot those future stars.